are you doing here? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What are you doing with my wife? It's not what it looks like. Let's laugh, laugh, laugh. Sup, sup, sup. You get it all here on the love show, love show, love show. Listen, Christ music is hot music and radio has never been better. This is Jamie Musadi. You're tuning to the love show right here on XFM. And I know you're expecting to hear, and I'm not alone. Well, I'm not alone. Who am I with today? Introduce yourself. <coughs> uh, so uh, <laughs> I'm going to make this as, as dramatic as I possibly can. Um, make so- it dramatic. Yes, so uh, it is your boy, um, your boy. If you don't rec- if you don't recognize my voice, then 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 um, you don't know me, and that's a problem. And it's not your boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all jokes aside. Now nah, I'm kidding. The jokes can't be aside. <clears throat> so my name is Tabo, right, right, right. Yeah. And I go by the DJ name of Tabo. Yeah, yeah. But wow! I, yeah, Look at that. I know it is crazy, but so how long did it take you to come up with that DJ name? Ah, uh, flip. You know, with things like this, Jamie, you have to really like consider. You know, the 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 the, the sound of your name. You know, the texture, the kind of audience. Like you know, you have to find mm. a, a cool name, right? Mm. Yes. Um. So when I was mm. choosing, I was like, flip. What could be the the coolest name I could possibly Use. Um, and I was like, oh, flip. I know someone who has a cool name. I have a cool name. So why not? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so like, for our international listeners. Oh, yes. What does Tabo mean? What does Tabo mean? Yeah. Um, like, what's the meaning of your name? Okay, so my name like, means... Like, I know... In, yeah? I know in Africa, all names... Not, okay, let me, let me not exaggerate and say all names, but most names have, like... A very significant meaning. Ooh. Like your name will be something beautiful. Like Lirato will mean love. Ooh. And that's like a common uh, as a name. Tandi will mean she is our beloved. Do you know like, Ooh. so Tabo, tell us where does Tabo come from? So Tabo comes from the the Sutu tribe. So the Sutu language. Yeah. It falls under uh, uh, Sisutu. And it basically means happiness. Happiness. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. And then Lee Tabo means the happiness for the girl, right? The girl version of Tabo. Yeah. So it's like the, the female version of happiness. So female happiness. Of happiness. Okay. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Okay, so Tabo. So Tabo, yeah. Tabo, today we are having some fun here on the last show. We are, we, we, we went, I went out and I checked out. What are people Googling? In other words, mm. What are the top Google search searches in like the last month or so, right? Yeah. In like between April up until June, April, all the way up until like now, there are a couple of questions people want to know. Mm. And so I just wanted to ask you the question. Like, I know uh, we used to do our school um, assignments this way. Like, if you don't know what it is, just Google it, man. Yeah. If you were Google, <clears throat> if you were Google, what, what change would you bring to the world? If I was Google. Yeah. So I would give people what they want. Mm-hmm. What? Yes. <laughs> what do you want? Okay, let me explain. <laughs> okay, so you know like when you search for something? Yeah. But it takes you a lot of time to find that thing. Yes. And when you find it, you don't find it the way you want to find it. Like you don't find the answer isn't as clear as it can be. So like what okay, I would wait, do... Wait, where are you taking this? Okay. So if you search how to make a cheese sandwich, you know, Google will tell you what you need first. Yeah. And I'm like, no, don't, don't tell me what I need. Just tell me how, how to do it, you know. After you tell me how to do it, then I'll find what I need. Am I making sense? Uh, not, uh, <laughs> not really, right? But, um, oh. yeah, I, I can tell this show is going to be very interesting. So... Tabo is going to be taking the place of Google and ask, answering the hardest questions, the most Googled questions so far this year. How do you feel about becoming Google, Tabo? 
I feel What's like I'm going to... Google? Uh, Taburo. Taburo. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to give people what they want. Mm-hmm. You're going to give them what they want? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, so... Before we get into that, man, I've got a jam for you. This is Roberto Rosso and Red Spin, winning side featuring Lady Go. Check the side, you heard it first on Active FM. Oof. COVID gonna end? <laughs> that's a, that is a very good that's a very good question mm-hmm. but unfortunately it was it's not it's not yeah it's not on this list what? it's not on this list no it's not even nobody's asking when is Google okay let me not say nobody but like people aren't googling that oh. okay like, that's a very good question I have heard word that we're looking at like 2022, 2023, like this dying down. Oh, oh, for real? Yeah, I've, I've heard word that that is what's going to happen, but I'm not sure that that's exactly what's going to happen. I've also got a very good feeling that we're just going to ride this lockdowns and, you know, yeah. vaccines and whatever way for a very long time. I think we're going to drive this home. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm praying for 
the world to go back to, you know, normality, if there was such thing as normality. But, okay, cool. I want to ask you the first question, and this is 9.1 million people. What? Google this. 9.1 million people Google what to watch. So what must you watch, Tabo? What to watch? Yeah. Okay, so... Tell 91 million, 9.1 million people. I don't know if I said 91 before, but 9.1 million people. Tell them, what must they watch? They must watch... What do you want to watch? Oh my goodness, Tabo. What are you watching right now? Like, what's something you're watching and you're like, how? I'm a big football fan. Oh my goodness, no. Yeah, so... No, no, no. The thing is, it's what I want to watch. So I watch what I want to watch. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, well, what I'm watching right now, other than Active TV, by the way, check out that TV channel. Yeah, yeah. Active TV. Um, I am watching this Korean series called Itai Wine Class. Whee! Like, it's been a rave. People have been talking about it, and I've been like, it's probably like, uh... But I've watched like three episodes. Wait, so you... It took me a week, though, because I don't watch it all at the same time. But, like, I've watched, like, three episodes, and so far it's good. What? So, Jimmy, you watch K-pop? No, K-pop is the music. Oh, is it? K-drama. Oh. Is that drama? Oh, oh my <laughs> goodness. K-dramas are boss. K-dramas are... I encourage you to watch K-dramas. There's one called Squid Game, but Squid Game is apparently very gory, and I don't think that's good Ooh. for people. So, I wouldn't recommend it. Since I myself have not watched it for that reason. Yeah. But yeah, I've heard this. But okay, you. Korea's doing the most these days, eh? For real. Uh, Korea's doing it. Korea's taking it home these days. <laughs> I'm going to try it out. No, I'll give it to them for the k dramas though. Like, the k dramas they, sometimes they're kind of predictable, but they're very cozy love stories, and I like them. So I watch them, and I enjoy them, and they're nice. <laughs> but okay, anyway, question number two. 3.8 million people want to know. Mm. When is Mother's Day? When is Mother's Day? Yeah. Somewhere in May. Oh my gosh, when in May? Even rhymes. That 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 rhymed right there. A acknowledge me. You what? I'm saying that sentence rhymed, so that's that was cool. I just thought it was it was cool. Somewhere in May doesn't rhyme. A day when is Mother's Day? In May. Like Oh come on, okay. Jamie, come on. Well, okay. Okay, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Snap, snap. Okay, so Mother's Day is on the 8th of May. <laughs> That's Mother's Day. It was the 8th of May, but I think it's the first Sunday of May. Oh, for real? Yeah, it's like the first Sunday of May. So I used to. 8th of May. This year was the 8th of May. So next year, it might be like the 7th or the 6th or like the 9th, depending on which is the first Sunday of May. Okay, so That's so Day. Google says, so Tawa says it's it's going to be on the 7th next year. So, yeah, that's your answer. Ah, are you sure? I'm 100% sure. It's going to be on the 7th. On the 7th. No, on the 9th. Like, I've even checking my calendar. On the 9th. On the 9th, yes. Have a listen. This is going worldwide. Check the statistics, eh? You better be sure. <laughs> okay, and then the second question, 3.4 million people. So, let people care about Father's Day, unfortunately. Like, at least... 0.4 million people less care about Father's Day. Oh. When is Father's Day? Father's Day is every day. No, come on! <laughs> well, you know what? Father's Day can be every day because, you know, we should appreciate your dad every day. But the special international designated day to celebrate all fathers is the last Sunday of June. And so that was this year, the 19th of June. Flip. Oh, no, it's not the last Sunday. It's the middle Sunday. The second Sunday. Sorry, it's the second Sunday of June. Flip. Or the third Sunday. Listen, this year, ne, it was the 19th of June. <clears throat> that, was, that was Father's Day. What? <sighs> yeah. Why am, I, yeah. why am I struggling with these questions? I am Google. Because... I'm okay. <laughs> Good question, man. Good question. And then now we've got another one. This one? Ha! Huh? I don't know how to ask it, ne? Mm, mm, mm. But I'm just going to just ask. Mm. Because the answer to this question is very... Mm. 
Yeah. Okay, so. What? I, I, who Googled this? 3.2 million people in the world what? wanted to know what dinosaur has 500 teeth. Oh. If a dinosaur would have 500 teeth, what, what would you name it? Uh. Mega Manchinaurus. Mega Manchinaurus? Yeah. Yeah, no, that's not a bad name, hey, because, like, you don't know what it's called. No, I don't know. I... Must I tell you? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, first, I'm going to put a disclaimer here, ne? Okay. Um, in putting in this disclaimer, this is not me who gave it this name. It's not me. It's not you. Me, I'm just reading what is, is the name of this thing. Okay. And so, don't come at, don't come at me All right. for this. Yeah. This dinosaur is called... <laughs> I don't know if this is even... Guys, Nigasaurus. That's the name of this dinosaur. Wait, what? No, you heard me right. Did I? It's called... Again, I'm saying I'm not the one who chose this name. And I'm not trying to be funny. I'm just... I was surprised. But the dinosaur with 500 teeth is called a Nigasaurus. What? <laughs> Whoa. And that's a scientific... Like, it's a proper name for it. It's not... What? Yeah, so it's like, the name of this dinosaur. So, like, scientists came around... As in... Yeah. And, oh, wow. Hmm. So many people in a car, what do you call it? Nigasaurus. <laughs> yeah. And that's what it, it was. N-I-G-E-R-S-A-U-R-U-S. The bizarre, long-necked dinosaur is characterized by its unusual, broad, straight-edged muzzle tipped with more than 500 replacement teeth. The original fossil skull of, it, of the Nigosaurus is one of the first dinosaur skulls to be digitally constructed with CT scans. What? Nigosaurus. I, okay, but like, guys, uh, maybe we've been too sensitive, but that's the name of this thing. Like, they really named it. I. Ah, uh, 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 come on. Uh, I don't know what to say. Yeah. Mm. I also don't know what to say, but I'm just like, okay, well, like, I guess that's the name. It doesn't have to be... War. Yeah. I mean, it's not derogatory, I guess. But how do you feel about that name? Like, for you, my listener, for you, our listeners. Yeah. How do you feel about that name? This dinosaur is 500 feet. It's called a Megasaurus. Is that racist? Like, because I'm really thinking, I'm like, mm. <laughs> is that a shot? <laughs> is, I don't think. For me, it's, I don't know. But also, I'm not very like that sensitive to such things, but. Megasaurus, are you are you offended? Yeah. By the name of this dinosaur, should we start a petition to change the name <laughs> of this dinosaur? You tell us, and you got to tell us on our Facebook pages, on our Instagram pages, at activist seven seven seven. How do you feel about Megasaurus? And I keep saying it because, <coughs> yeah, man, disbelief. How do you feel about it? I'm also not not that sensitive, but uh, yeah. Uh, maybe they were trying to do something, you know, trying to... I don't know. I don't know, man. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Mm, yeah, man. Suspicions. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Hey, suspicions are real, right? Mm. Okay, so... Anyway, I'm gonna take a... We're gonna... Oh, we need to relax some music right here. This is Active Worship. Oof. This is of your Inception album with visions and dreams. Oh. I love this song. Check it out.
Remind me of your endless mercy. When the wind starts to blow, when I find it hard to see my direction, I may not feel it, yeah, but you work it out, Lord. I'll keep believing. Jesus, you're my Okay, so um, I'll admit I had a, a a a rocky start, but I will get back on my feet, <laughs> and I will answer these questions correctly because I'm Google. Okay, because yeah. you're Google. You know, yes. like I wouldn't blame you because um, a few weeks ago, you know, the Zuckerberg Empire had a crash where Facebook, oh, yeah, yes. everything, WhatsApp was like, no, no working yeah. today. Yeah. Do you know what I feel like though? One. I feel like before that week, you know, I had the answers, you know, like the, the data was there. Mm. Like as mm. you were asking the questions, I'm like, wait, no, flip. I knew this. Flip. You were hacked? <laughs> I was hacked. I was hacked. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay, cool. Let's, let, 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 let's add some more questions to this, right? Um, hmm. Here's one. Okay. Here's, here's a really good one. You know Vanilla. I know vanilla, yes. I am Google. Of course you know vanilla. Well, that's a nice mild flavor. It's not so good in your tea. Oh, by the way, today I'm drinking citronella tea. Very mm. nice thing. Very natural. Citronella tea. tea. Very, very Fancy. good. Mm. Yeah, I actually boiled it up just now before um, the recording. I know this tea finished. But anyway, anyway. <laughs> Where does vanilla come from? 2.3 million people in the world would like to ask you. Tabo Google. Tabo Google. Yeah. Where does vanilla come from? That's simple. Yeah, where? Comes from um um there's this plant. Yeah. That plant that plant is called vanilla essence. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and yeah. then Yeah, and then that's And that's where it came from. That's where it comes from. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, so I, I took it in upon myself to um, Google where vanilla comes from because I was like, hmm, where does vanilla come from? And where so vanilla does... is native to South and Central America and the Caribbean. That's where it comes from. South America, the Central America, the Caribbean, right? And the first people to have cultivated it would have been the the Totonac. I hope I pronounced it correctly. If I pronounce it incorrectly, please, like, excuse my pronunciation. I'm African. Totonac. Of Mexico, east, of Mexico's east coast. These are the Aztecs who find vanilla when they conquered the Totonac. 
Then in the 15th century, the Spanish came in. In turn, they conquered the Aztecs. So the Spanish now had the vanilla. And that's where vanilla, yes, that beautiful ooh, scent, ooh, came ooh. from. Yeah. And then now, there's another question. Like, question number two, well, of this segment, question number two is, what time is it? 1.8 million people want to know. <laughs> what is the time? Um, so at the time of, of this recording, uh, yeah, it is currently uh, 11 past 12. Uh, Central 11 past African, 12 where? In South Africa, so GMT yeah. plus 2. Central African yeah. time is 11 past 12. You know what's the funny thing? Right now I am in Kinshasa. For those of you who um, are loyal to my podcast, which yeah, means yeah. you here, Oh, by the way, I didn't explain what Mindeni is, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Mindeni needed to take care of some stuff, man. He needed to, you know, take care of his schooling things. Because, you know, the man's in university. So he needed to, you know, take a little break. But, you know, I, I got y'all. I'm holding the fort out here. So that's where my partner is. In case you thought I just deleted him. No, I did not delete him. He just needs to put on a few things um, with his schooling and stuff like that. I mean, it's pretty hectic in varsity. So he's sorting that stuff out. Um, but... What was I telling you guys before I got into that topic? In Congo, in Kinshasa, yeah. we one hour behind For real? Um, South Africa. Yeah. So right now it's eleven twelve for me. Everything that happens in South Africa happens one hour before for me here in Congo. That is so cool. Uh yeah. And so you know like we've got this thing with my squad where we pray together every day at five. Yeah? Like 5 a.m. We all, we all get up and we get on the WhatsApp phone and we pray together. Oh, My yeah, prayer yeah, call yeah. is at 4 a.m. So, ha <laughs> ha <laughs> And if for some reason, if they wanted to do something at 4, like their side, it would be 3 o'clock on my side. So, like, it's, yeah. If they want to like, if they want to do something at lunchtime, it's 11 o'clock for me. So, it's like an awkward time for me. But, yeah, that's, that's, that, it those, is what it is. Those are the, mm. the struggles. <laughs> okay, so our next question is a tutorial. So 3.1 million people, 3.1 million people are asking you to Google. Oh, right. How do you permanently, permanently, oh, my English is finished today, permanently <laughs> delete your Instagram account? How do you delete? How do you delete your Instagram account? Yeah. Okay, wait, wait. Let's first start. Do you have Instagram? Yes, I do have Instagram. What's your handle? Can I follow you? My What's handle, handle? Is... handle? Let me follow you. So, so it's Tabo underscore 144. Tabo 144. Okay, Tabo 144. Yeah. How do you delete that Tabo 144? You deactivate it. Yeah, but then how? Oh, uh, uh, you just press on your account, and then you go to settings. Yeah. And then yeah. you press deactivate. Then and you... then you deactivate the account. Deactivate the account and then you uninstall that guy. Okay, so yeah. if you were to deactivate your Instagram account, why would you do that? Like, for what reason would you deactivate your Instagram account? Because you know it's not coming back anymore, ne? Yeah. So, um, so you, maybe you got hacked. That's a good reason. Yeah. Yeah. So you wanna deactivate because that wasn't you. It's no more you. You know, it's no more your. Okay. Account. Yeah. So then you deactivate. deactivate. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know, you just figure out that, hey, I'm too old for this, so... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that Instagram. Instagram, okay. So our next question is, how many weeks are there in a year? This is 1.2 million Google this year. Ah, guys. How many years, how many weeks are there? How many, almost, I almost said how many weeks are there, how many years are there in a week? How many <laughs> weeks are there in a year? <laughs> Okay, this one I know for sure. Yeah. It is 52 point something weeks. Okay, I'm glad you said the point because it's yes. 52.1429. Hey. 1429. So there's some hours there. Hey. Or some minutes down to the second. That's the year. I wonder why, why is the year not just like 365 days past like that? X amount of weeks past just like that. Why is the point two five? I know why. I know why. Why? And the, the cool thing is that this answer is findable in in a book called the Bible. Ha! Mm. 
So you know, there's there was a war that happened in the Bible. Yeah, right? yeah. I'm, I'm gonna keep it simple. There was a war that happened in the Bible, and then yeah. you know, God's people were they went, they uh, they weren't doing the most in the war. So yeah. they asked. They weren't doing the most. Yes. Uh, so they asked God to, to give them more time so they can do the most. And then God. Do the most in that time. And then God extended the sun. And then, pa, they did the most. So now, there is, there, there is a missing day, scientifically. And that is why we have 365 days, 0.5. In a year. Boom. Boom. Obviously, yeah, that, that would have affected the time. What I was talking about is the battle um, of Joshua, where basically he was there, he was battling the months. Ish. Then Moses had to raise his hands because if Moses put his hands down, Ish. oh, the Israelites are going to see fire. Yo, yo, yo. Then Moses put his hands up and it started winning. The, the Bible is epic. epic. The Bible, you've got to read it with a little bit of drama, to be honest. So, like, you know, must read it with some oomph. I don't know yes. how to put it. Like, read it with some energy. Yes. And you'll see nice things there. But yeah, man, so that's basically what Tabo was talking about. So, Tabo, tell us, which show do you come from here on Act FM? And tell us a little bit about your show. Tell us a little bit about yourself and where we can catch you another time. All right. So I am on two very incredible shows on Active FM. You have to go and listen to them. One of them is the VAR show, which is designed for, uh, for all of you football lovers out there in the world. And I am there with my co-host, DJ Stones. And there on the show... I go as DJ Sticks because, you know, it's DJ Sticks and Stones, you know, we're not going to break your bones. You know? <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. And then I am on another show called The Shade, which is an incredible show as well. And I am there with my two lovable, lovely co-hosts, Sash and Glory. And in that show, how do I word it? We... Y'all just so shade. We know y'all. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> And then, okay. yeah, that is it. And I just really, really, really want to thank you so much for um, joining me on this podcast today. It was incredible ah, having you. And yeah, it. I guess you're going to have to sign off the show. So, like, do you have any last words? Uh, I told you I was going to tell you guys the right answers. I know I am Google. And um, I'm just glad that you have been informed and transformed through my very accurate descriptions and answers. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, well, you know, this is actually the same, right? We're never just going to leave you like that no. and, you know, no. not, not give you anything to, you know, oomph, oomph up your life with. So, yes. as we are closing up the show, we've got one more jam for you to listen to. This is Jamie Musadi. I was in trouble today. We are signing out. Peace out and God bless. <laughs> Join the Active FM show? Well, then catch us on Instagram at Active FM Triple Seven, Twitter and Gab at Active FM, Facebook at Active FM forward slash Triple Seven, as well as YouTube at Active FM and our website at www.activefm.co.za. Don't stop, don't hesitate. Find, follow, and enjoy us on all our different platforms. You don't want to miss out. Do you love me when I'm falling short? Do you love me when I mess up? Do you believe in me when I don't even believe in myself? Cause to be honest, I've been nervous, God, I know you must be tired of this. When I say you are the way, then I go right back to it. But you say. Nothing.
Nothing I could ever do compares to the price you pay for me. The price you pay for me. Yeah, the truth is, nothing I could ever do compares to the price you pay for me. The price you pay for me. So I come into your presence, Lord I'm bringing all my flaws Bringing the real me And at your feet I lay it down Cause I believe that you can help me, God I've got nowhere left to turn And my heart is torn apart From the lies that I've heard Still you say Walk out, walk out, and your grace is deeper than the ocean, deeper than my fears and doubts, so I step out. Thank you. 